Hello friends, my name is Rotan Sotabro and you are watching my YouTube channel RCB Blog. Today I am bringing you a very special video relating to fire and emergency. In this video, I will tell you about the fire and its classes and also about the extinguishers which are used during the initial stage of fire. I will tell you all everything in this video in details. I hope you will watch my video till the end and try to earn a little bit knowledge that I am going to share with you. So let's start my video. In this video, you will know what is fire, classes of fire, types of fire extinguishers, and uses of fire extinguishers according to categorized fire. Everyone in this art is familiar with the fire and it is known to us that how much the fire is useful in our daily life. We cannot imagine our lives without fire. But when the same fire becomes uncontrollable during emergency, then we know how it becomes the most destructive and dangerous and turns into a catastrophe within a short period of time. Now, first of all, let's know about what is fire. A fire is nothing but the heat energy or the chemical chain reaction, in which reactions due to combination of three components, that is combustible materials or fuels, oxygen and sufficient heat produces lots of heat, light and smoke. If any one of the those three components is absent, then a fire never arises or occurs. So whenever there is a fire anywhere or in any place, such as house, school, building, office, auditorium, cinema hall, or in your own premises or in a public place, then first of all you have to do is be sure that you, your friends, your family members, colleagues or any other people who are present in the fire incident place are in safe place. And then try to extinguish the fire by eliminating any one of the those three components by the process of cooling, blanketing or smoothering or by starvation in the very beginning of the fire. But if you are unable to control or extinguish the fire during the initial stage of fire and the fire spreads rapidly then don't take any risks and don't try to extinguish the fire lonely and immediately call your nearest fire service by dialing their respective phone numbers or by your own state's fire service control number here question arises that what is called cooling blanketing and starvation cooling is nothing but the process of pouring water into the fire Doing so, it reduces the temperature which is required to burn fire. As a result, the fire is extinguished immediately. While blanketing or smoothering is the process of disconnection of the oxygen supply from the surroundings to the fire. And on the other hand, starvation is the process of disconnection of the fuel supply or removal of the combustible materials from the fire or from the vicinity of the fire. Now let's see the classes of fire. A fire can be classified into four classes according to its combustible materials or fuel. These are class A fire or general fire, class B fire or liquid fire, class C fire or gas fire and class D fire or metal fire. Fires involving solid organic material such as wood, paper, cloth or textiles, plastics, etc. are known as A-class fire or general fire. Fires involving inflammable liquids such as petrol, kerosene, diesel, etc. are known as B-class fire or liquid fire. C-class fire or gas fire is occurred due to gases like propane, butane, LPG, methane, etc. And fires involving inflammable metals like sodium, magnesium, lithium, uranium, titanium, etc. are known as D-class fire or metal fire. In the present days, fire evolving from the kitchen due to cooking oil or fats well is considered as one of the classes of fire and is named as K-class fire or kitchen fire. Let's see the types of fire extinguishers. 
there are different types of fire extinguishers according to its classes these are water type fire extinguisher foam type fire extinguisher co2 type fire extinguisher dcp type fire extinguisher wet chemical type fire extinguisher remember that all the portable fire extinguishers are used only in the initial stage of fire now let's see the uses of fire extinguishers according to its classes of fire the water type fire extinguisher is the most effective fire extinguisher for a class fire those fueled by organic solid materials such as wood paper plastic cloth etc remember that water is never used to extinguish live electrical fire because water is a good conductor of electricity in case of live electrical fire switch off the main switch immediately foam type fire extinguishers are basically used in b class fire or liquid fire those fueled by inflammable liquids such as petrol diesel kerosene paraffin etc and it can also be used in a class fire or general fire here again one thing to remember that water is never used in oil fire or liquid fire because oil is lighter than water and it floats on the water surface as a result fire will spread more faster rather than extinguished co2 or carbon dioxide fire extinguisher is the most effective and useful for live electrical fire it is also used in b class fire or oil fire and c class fire or gases fire dry chemical powder or dcp is used in b class fire or liquid fire and in c class fire or gases fire the wet chemical type fire extinguisher is used to extinguish k class fire or kitchen fire and finally the extinguishers containing ternary eutectic chloride powder is used to extinguish d class fire or metal fire and nowadays mono ammonium phosphate containing extinguishers which is also known as multi purpose dry powder fire extinguisher is generally seen to be used because this type of fire extinguisher is useful for a b and c class fire so friends that's it from my today's video i will be back with new video with new topic till then take care stay safe be happy and goodbye